Hi, I'm Trev Hutchings, and this is how to use Reverb in Cakewalk. On the vocal track header, click on the plus icon to the right of the word FX. Click on Insert Audio Effects on the pop up menu. Click on Reverb on the pop up menu. Then click on Sonatus Reverb on the pop up menu. To select a ready made reverb setup, click on the Presets button on the Sonatus Reverb window. Click on Sonatus FX on the pop up menu, then click on one of the ready made reverb setups. Here I will click on the Venue. There is no one so blind. As those who choose not to see. Low cut sets the lowest audio frequency that is included in the reverb. Drag the left small white box on the graph to the right of the words low cut to the left to add more bass to the reverb. There is no so or to the right to reduce the amount of bass. There is no one so blind. I usually set low cut to around 400 hertz so it doesn't muddy the kick drum or the bass guitar. The high cut sets the highest audio frequency that is included in the reverb. Drag the right small white box on the graph to the right of the words high cut to the left to reduce the amount of treble in the reverb. There is no one so blind. Or to the right to add more treble. I usually set the high cut to about the middle point of the vocal frequencies, so the reverb doesn't muddy the vocals. So, normally about 2 kHz. But this would be higher for female vocals. Pre-delay sets the amount of time before the reverb is started. Drag the slider to the right of the word pre-delay to the left to reduce the amount of time before the reverb starts. So blind. Or to the right to increase the amount of time before the reverb starts. There is no one so blind. I usually set pre delay to about 80 milliseconds so the reverbs don't muddy the punch of the vocals. Room size sets how fast the reverb is. Drag the slider to the right of the words room size to the left to make the reverbs faster. There is no one so blind. Or to the right to make them slower. I usually set the room size to about 60 for most songs. Diffusion sets whether the reverbs can be heard clearly or are mixed together. Drag the slider to the right of the word diffusion to the left to make the reverbs more clearer, so more like 
an echo. There is no so or to the right to make the reverbs blend more together. I usually set diffusion to about 60 for most songs. Bass multiplier sets how long the reverb is on the audio frequencies that are below the audio frequency point set by the crossover. Drag the left small white square on the graph to the right of the word crossover up to make the reverb of the lower audio frequencies longer. Or down to make the reverb on the lower audio frequencies shorter. There is no one so blind. I usually set the bass multiplier to about 1.0, but you might prefer to use a lower number, like about 0.2 for female vocals. Drag the small white box to the left to lower the audio frequency split point of the crossover. There is no one so blind. Or to the right to set the audio frequency split point higher. I usually set the crossover to about 100 hertz higher than the low cut, so about 500 hertz. Delay time sets how long the reverb is, and high damping sets how many of the higher frequencies are blended out of the reverb. Drag the right small white square on the graph to the right of the word crossover up to make the reverb longer. There is no so blind. Or down to make the reverb shorter. I usually set the delay time to match the room size, so about 2.4 for a room size of 60. And about 1.2 for a room size of 30. Drag the small white box to the left to increase the number of high frequencies that are blended out of the reverb. Or to the right to reduce the number of higher frequencies that are blended out of the reverb. There is no so blind. I usually set high dampening to match the high cut, so about 2 kHz. Drag the dry slider to the left to reduce the amount of vocals mixed with the reverb. Or to the right to increase the amount of vocals mixed with the reverb. There is no one so blind. I usually set dry to 0 dB. 
drag the ER slider to the left to make the early reflection quieter in the mix. Or to the right to make it louder in the mix. So blind. The early reflection is the first repetition of the reverb and sounds more like an echo. I usually set ER to about minus 2 dB. Drag the reverb slider to the left to reduce the amount of reverb in the mix. Or to the right to increase the amount of reverb in the mix. There is no so I usually set reverb to about minus 6 dB. Press on the box to the right of the word width and drag the mouse cursor up or down the screen to change the percentage. Width sets how wide the reverb is in the stereo mix. There is no so blind. I usually set width to about 30% if I have reverb on other instruments in the song. Otherwise I leave it on 100%. Click on stereo to toggle between a stereo reverb mix and a mono reverb mix. There is no so blind. Click on tail to toggle tail on or off. There is no so blind. There is no so blind. When tail is on, the button is yellow and reverb continues on after the vocals have stopped. When the tail is off, the reverb stops when the vocals stop. I usually Turn tail off. There is no so blind as those who choose not to see. If you enjoyed this video, do give us a thumbs up and click on that subscribe button. Cheers.